Essentially, experience is necessary for us to learn and grow and flourish as a creature. Why it seems that other people can't merely just tell you, well, this is life, this is what life is about, and this is what you need to do to be happy, to succeed, to make it in this world, is because words aren't enough to explain to somebody how they should live and what they should do with their life. This is why we have experience. Experience is the best teacher. Experience is a part of nature. Nature through experiences is teaching you how you can live, ways you should live, and what is good for you. So experience is the best teacher. It teaches you to protect yourself. It teaches you to take precaution. So we really need to look toward experience if we want to understand ourselves and then we want to understand what the world is about and how we can better flourish in society, in the world, and in our lives. That's why you need to not look towards ideology, uh, religion, or society for what to think. You should be trying to experience as much as you can. Go for direct experience is the term that Terence McKenna coined. And this just means that we, we use experience as a tool to teach us. Now, in using experience as a tool, don't keep doing the same mistakes. You need to be intuitive and analyze what's happening to you. If you go and you do something and it's not working out, it's not working out. You need to stop that experience and go to a new one. The mistake that people make, and this is crucial, is that they continue to repeat the same experiences without analyzing them continually and consecutively committing the same mistakes and harming themselves over and over and over again. This is a pattern that needs to be broken. Now, human beings, we do like patterns. We do like um, normality. We do like things to be the same. But this, in terms of experience, is not acceptable. You can't live that way. It's, it's uh, detrimental to you and then those around you. And so you have to be intuitive to the experiences that you're having. And then when the experiences are destructive or negative towards you or other people, you stop it. And so those are the lessons we can learn from experience. And that is why experience is so important. Only, only the individual can really teach themselves what life is about through experience. Words just are not enough. And so what's wonderful about this and also bad about this is that we have to we have to somehow teach our youth our our young people about what life is and how to help themselves but the, the real trouble is that words aren't enough words can't explain to people how they should live but what's great is through experience when you learn something you really you really identify it it becomes a part of you and and that's just Amazing.